welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making some homemade yogurt, and then I will be making, showing you my first batch of homemade dog food. So for the homemade yogurt, I started out with eight cups of milk, and I am using the Pampered Chef's Deluxe Multi-Cooker because it does have a yogurt setting. So for this recipe, you'll um, set it to sear first and then bring that milk up to 180 degrees to 185 degrees. And then you're gonna let that cool down to about 105 to 115 degrees. With the milk, you can use any milk that you use, although the recipe calls for whole milk. If you are dairy free, just mix equal parts of coconut milk and nut milk. And then you can just follow the recipe as it's as instructed. Now for the deluxe multi cooker, I love this thing because of the preset settings. So in case you haven't seen this with Pamper Chef, this is an upgraded version of their quick cooker. So if you previously purchased their quick cooker that came out back in 2018, it's gotten a little makeover. So it does do a lot more. It's got a lid um, holder now. So when you take it off, you can set the lid and prop it up so you don't have to find counter space, has a cord wrap, has all of these preset settings on it. So definitely highly recommend checking out that product, getting with your consultant for that one. So for this, um, once you finish searing it, you're gonna add in about a half a cup of like regular plain yogurt. That's just your starter yogurt that gets everything going. And then you'll lock the lid and you'll set this to yogurt just by turning that little dial. And then when you push it in once, it's gonna ask you for a time and you can set it to eight or 12, depending on how tangy you like your yogurt. And then you'll just hold that button in and it'll start cooking and then in about eight hours or however long you set it for, you will have perfectly made yogurt. When you get down to about half a cup of this, that tells you that it's time to make some new one, some new yogurt, and you'll use that as your starter. So I'll never have to buy yogurt again. All right, now on to my first batch of homemade dog food. So I am using the Farmer's Dog DIY packets, and it comes on their website, when you sign up, you get all these recipes that's designed specifically for it. So I'm using their beef and carrot one. This video is not sponsored by them in any way. Um, but I am here with my Pampered Chef large pot. And I quickly realize I'm going to need a bigger pot. I am cooking homemade dog food for three dogs. And one of them is the start, the reason for all this. And it's because he's been having some GI issues. So I've transitioned them over to this new food and actually this first batch I mixed in with their current batch of dog food just so that I can slowly transition them in there without giving them upset stomach. As you can see, my pot was pretty full once I added in the veggies. So I did split it. Um, this is a different day from the yogurt. So I have it still in that pot and then into the deluxe multi cooker, which I set on sear, made it a lot easier. I just cook this down until the veggies get really soft and the meats cook through. And then I can add in the spinach to let that wilt down into both pots. Because I'm cooking for three dogs, one of whom is a lab, it is quite a bit of meat, but for three dogs, 10 pounds of meat, it actually lasts them an entire week. So I have been making dog food every Sunday for the last like three weeks. And it's turned out I've been learning a lot. So as I go along, they are fully transitioned into this. So I'm hoping after a little while, we'll see some added benefits to the little bacon who's been having some issues. Um, it does call for spinach and then it calls to add in some eggs. So I split the eggs. It was 12 eggs. So this is six eggs that I'm scrambling up here. And then I just poured that into one of the pots and then I mixed another batch up and poured into the other. Stirred that in, let that cook through. And then I'm checking the temperature here to make sure it's 165 and above. It says to check it in multiple areas just to make sure the whole thing is cooked through. And then I also added in some salmon oil for their skin and coat. And I'm using this Zesty Paws salmon oil. So Seems to be working pretty good. 
Once it's all cooked down, you turn the heat off, you add in your packets. This adds in all of the nutrients and minerals that dogs need in their food. I stirred that in and just let that cool for about 20 minutes before I put it into the containers. They actually look pretty bad. <laughs> Looks pretty tasty, actually. So I just mix that all in. I did learn that the immersion blender is a really useful tool to kind of really get that all blended together and mixed in so it's not so chunky. I mean, this was really soft, so they had no problems with it being this way, but I've just learned in the next couple of batches that the immersion blender just makes it a lot easier for storing and portioning out and ensuring they're getting a piece of everything in there. And then I also learned slow cookers, yes. So I ended up putting the next batch back in the deluxe multi-cooker and I got out another slow cooker. Um, yes, I have a kitchen gadget problem. That's a whole other video though. So I had two slow cookers going and that made it a lot easier because I can go about my day doing my thing instead of monitoring the stove for a while. This didn't take me too long, but it was my first batch, so. These cups I found on Amazon, they are they hold two cups. They, they're a twist top and they are freezer safe and refrigerator safe. So I fill these up and I'll write their name and the date that I filled it on the top there. And then I store four days worth in the refrigerator and the remainder of the batches go in the freezer and then I pull them out as needed. I have been cooking them up every Sunday I'm hoping that as I grow and get better at this, I can make more batches ahead of time and kind of have like doggy freezer meals going on so that I'm not cooking every single Sunday. But baby steps, I'm still learning. If you do homemade dog food, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Send me your advice, comment below. What do you use? What supplements do you use? Have you used farmer's dog? Just spam the comments with your homemade dog food tips and tricks. I would love to know. And that is it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.